Hey, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Scarlet Bitch Comic Workshop. Uh, Chapter 2. What? Nice. Okay, and we're going to start off this, uh, this issue with a, uh, a look at my brother's uh, take on the Chapter 1 assignment. What do you think? Um, I thought he did, really, did a really good job. Uh, one thing that I wasn't sure about uh, was um, whether it wasn't clear to me whether there was like a, another panel on top of it oh, or something. Yeah. That was him messing up. <laughs> oh. I cut that out. <laughs> okay. I was, I was like, because at first I thought it was like the cat was like being devious or something. So I didn't know what was going on. So uh, yeah, who knows yeah. what he was going on? We'll ask him later. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I thought it, uh, he did a good job. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I, I really, I, I liked um, the, the comic strip. Actually, reminded me a lot of um, Garfield, um, which is fun because there's a cat, etc., and he's getting into mischief. Um, I also liked, uh, the, there was a kind of a, a good reaction in terms of, um, uh, the man walking to the door, although I think that just in terms of, like, spatial arrangement in the panel, it might have been better to put the cat and the goldfish on the other side of the door. Right, I was gonna say, it read left to right instead of right to left, and I mean, I hope it wasn't just scanned in and switched. Um, but, you know, in, even if it was, it's very interesting, yeah, it could be like, it, it's a little awkward to, I mean, we do see the cat, and then we see the reaction to the cat, so in terms of the temporal mechanic, it goes yeah. that way, but in terms of the, the line of sight of the person is opposite our line of sight, so, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I, I, I agree, it is a little, a little wonky in that way. Coming from a pile of rocks perspective, I really like the person in the background weeping in the picture. I was like, oh, what a, a, a completely juxtaposed emotion <laughs> is going on. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, so I just thought it was an interesting cool little addition. Completely, completely random, but yeah, that's how we roll. Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, in regards to the chapter this week, um, I, uh, so I had mixed feelings because uh, well, a, I thought it did. Uh, it was it was interesting in like in how it highlights the different kinds of ways that that you can pair, you know, text and images and all that stuff. It can be surreal. It can be literal. It can be all that kind of stuff. But just fun and dandy. But then I, I guess the homework assignment. Um, so <laughs> I just had a really difficult time. I'm um, doing pretty perfectly frank. Because like everything that I drew was like superheroes or like superhero related, and it's hard to do something like really like and like if I had like like for example like the classwork, um, which was like to like take your last homework assignment and make it a gag comic, and I'm like oh, I there's no. I, I was like, I'm just gonna write a caption. There's gonna have to be. It's a surrealist joke. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So, I didn't really know what to do about that, so I just thought about, like, what would Patriot say if he was in a Golden Age comic? Yeah. At the same time, when I was, like, a couple of years, a few years ago, when I was doing a research thing for undergrads, um, I had a friend and we made up this, like, character and we did one panel gag comic. So, like, I have done that in the past, but it's... I can't turn anything into a gag comic. I, yeah. It's hard, guys. I also, I mean, like, <laughs> so, like, I... Kind of totally cheated this week. I will fess up to it. I um, was doing not really homework, but um, I I am one of those not just people on DeviantArt. I will I will fess up to it. Not only am I, am I on DeviantArt, I am part of a Wiccan and Hulkling fan club on DeviantArt. And this week they posted a a a, um, a submission contest, which was summer. Just do Wiccan and Hulkling. Uh, fan art with the theme summer and so I was like I'm totally jumping on this so I made this you know fan art which you could probably see on your screen uh, at some point maybe right now I was like this is totally cute and it's awesome I'm like oh shit I need to make a gag comic and I spent like an hour at my screen trying to make a gag comic <laughs> I am not funny and I was I wasn't I wasn't gonna use that image 
I was, I was just trying to do something else. I'm like, I can't think of anything that's funny at all. So I'm just going to use this image that I already did spend a lot of time on this week for my homework and make a caption for it. So. <laughs> And we'll we'll, have that, we'll do that when uh, when we're discussing the the comic or the homework later. Um, but about the chapter, I I really liked all the discussion of the different of the different you know types of, of uh, ways you can do do words and juxtapose words and pictures, um, especially coming from my perspective of you know I don't spend so long you know drawing the picture the fan art. I'm not a part of fan art communities, and then come and go like oh what do I want to do for my words. I come from the opposite perspective where I'm like, I really want to tell this story and I'm going to tell it this way and I'm going to do this and this person's going to say this and this and then I come to the drawing part and I'm like, oh god, I have to make pencil marks that look like people? <laughs> and so I, I did like a, a 24 hour comic thing with my friends out down here in Tallahassee a few weeks ago and like, my first page is great. It has like close-ups, it has changes in angles and things like that. The second page is just all thought bubbles. Cause I was like, I'm not drawing anymore. <laughs> so I really love this because especially these first two chapters have made me go, okay, yeah, I need to not think about my words until after I've told the story. I can think of the story, but I need to tell it through pictures first. Yeah. Um, also, what's really, what was challenging for me, um, even though I really kind of didn't really do the homework, was uh, um, uh, so much of, of this, of, of this, I mean, I, I, I understand that we're, 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 we're like building blocks, um, but what's really challenging about this is that, you know, like, I'm used to telling kind of like comic stories with the, the ability to use several panels. And so like, you have to be really concise, kind of like visually and textually. Um, you have to create an image that can capture uh, the, the, the hits on several marks and has a punchline, even though you can't, you know, like create that visual space for a punchline or create a new panel to like delay a reader's response to it. You know, it just all has to be there. So that's, I mean, I think, I think, um, like, like being really, really good at making gag comics is, is, is like something to, akin to. You know, the player that's able to write a great ten-minute play. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it definitely. You know, you have to you exercise your skills in a different way and pacing. You have you have to have a completely different uh, concept of pacing when you're doing it, definitely. And um, yeah, no. When I back when I did those those gag comics for uh, for my little summer friendship or whatever, we would do them at lunch. Um, it was I was in a completely different mindset, and I I can't think of like I don't I couldn't think of. You can't make a comic book out of gag comics, so I don't think a comic book person can easily make the switch to, yeah, to doing that way. I mean, we, we had so much trouble doing three actions within one panel last week, so, uh, yeah, the way, the way it goes. Uh, they don't translate well, I guess. But <laughs> it's a good exercise. It really makes you think outside the box, except inside just oh. one box. Yeah, although I am really excited about next week's um, chapter. Uh, because it involves an entire comic strip rather than just one panel, so. That would be super fun. I'm very excited. Um, yeah. Um, oh, I also wanted to say that I love Magritte. And, um, yeah, I think that, that's what I had to say about the chapter. You want to move on to the homework? Sure, let's do it. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. I liked it. I liked how it was a fish. Yeah. And it was a fishing trip. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Yakety yak, yak, yak. Right? Also, uh, they're not straight, so there's another meaning there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I guess you have to be, um, I guess you, you're, you need more context on these characters for the joke to be funny. Um. No. No, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> are, do you want to give the context, or do we just assume, guys, look up Weekend and Hopeless? Yeah, well, I mean, like, Billy and Teddy are the first, kind of, Gay superhero boyfriends, teenagers, and what Hulkling is a shapeshifter and can turn to many things. And why not a mermaid, or merman, or mer person, um, or trans folk? Um, yeah. Uh, and so yeah, there's that. I think it's really cute. I love it. Um, yeah. I think, I think it's really adorable. It's so adorable. And it was like fishing trip, and I was like, aww. It's like if Wiccan caught Hulkling and he's in love. Yay! 
Um, yeah, I like that. Um, I did two because I had this idea and then I sketched it out and I was like, ugh. And so I sketched out basically something that looks like my brother's um, <laughs> comic. It was again a cat comic because my cat was in for the cat Cats cat are hilarious. Was. I'm sure if you've been on the internet, but they're hilarious. <laughs> My cat was being so cute. It was just <laughs> taking things off my desk, like, wow, these are the coins. And like throwing it on the floor. Because <laughs> it wanted my attention. <laughs> and I thought it was so funny. <laughs> so I do a comic about it. Here it is. Okay, that's my comic about my cat throwing my clothes on the floor. That's the other thing it did. It would like throw the coins on the floor and then it would dig into the, the cubby hole and like take my pajamas out and throw them on the ground. <laughs> so that's what that one, that's what that one was about. Um, I like the lines, although um, one comment is I think they need to be tapered a little more so they can, they look like speed lines. Yeah, I definitely, um, <laughs> made them and then when I scanned them in they I didn't like them so I was just in paint and I used <laughs> the paint tools to make them longer <laughs> so next time when I have control over their ready utensil I will do that totally totally um, no good comments um, what are the what are the things we're supposed to talk about again this has kind of a right left action the clothes are going off that to the, to the right um, and the other, I'm quickly flipping through things. Um, yeah, I guess the, the comments about yours, it was everything flowed well, I thought. Because there's a whole bunch of questions that they ask in the appendix, which I am flipping to crazily, um, about funniness. Are the panels funny? Why or why not? I don't, I don't like that question at all. Um, how would you define the humor? Fish, fish tail. Cats are funny. That's the humor. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> how does the drawing contribute to the humor of each panel? Well, it explains the well, plot. Well, at least, yeah. Well, mine explains the plan, and yours uh, shows. Um, I mean, like, I, like. It explains yeah. that my cat is not actually helping me put my clothes away. It's messing things. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, it, yeah. Without the image. It, Without, without the juxtaposition between the image and the text, it wouldn't be funny. Think about the voice of the cartoon. Is the voice in each panel interesting and individual? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. They, clear, they did not talk about voice at all in that chapter. I don't know what that means. Guys, all your voices are individual, because you're the only you there. It's so good job. Muted and proud. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, the assignment included mu writing multiple captions for the drawing. Yeah, I wrote a bunch of horrible ones and I didn't put them on. And this moderately okay one is what got there. Um, and what drawing tools did the artist use? This artist chose to use a pen, a pencil, and then Microsoft Paint. <laughs> he was <laughs> to, be fair, Microsoft, to be fair, Microsoft Paint um, uh, is a valid art form. There was somebody created the largest painting ever, I think, using Microsoft Paint. And I think they were, they were they were just judging it by like pixel size, and like he just did this enormous like mural of like this giant, and it's all Microsoft Paint, and it took him like five years to do it or something like that, something really crazy. My dad yeah. spent like a summer when we first got our computer making this big uh, mural as a desktop background. It was like it was a Microsoft Paint, and it was yeah, it was like the size of your desktop screen when it was in normal view, um, and he would just go in and change each pixel. Um, with the large zoom. It was crazy. It was crazy. crazy. It had all of us riding dragons and in a castle. It was so cool. I, oh, wow. Yeah, no. Uh, I was I was very impressed. I was like, this is cool to add. Um, I'm never going to do that, so sorry, my kid. But <laughs> it would be even cooler if he was doing SI art. I never understood how people were able to do that, but yeah, good on them. I wonder if you could do SI art that was also with, like, the captions were in it. That'd be so meta. <laughs> <Ten point. laughs> awesome. Do you want to see the other comic I did? Sure, why not? 
So I based that one on LMFAO. Because I was thinking that they were like, yeah, okay, you get it now. You get it yeah. now. Yeah. I didn't get it before. I was like, I don't get the joke. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm only going to post it on music vlog. Uh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, because they were like, Let's talk about uh, like the office or the bar. Like, places everyone goes all the time. Classic gag scenes. And I was like, well, the office, I shuffle paper a lot. Oh, there's that song about shuffling. And so then I... Voila. The, the, the I used for this one, uh, pens and markers, and I did, or pencils, and I did not use Microsoft Paint for this one. Well, speaking of, um, so, I was drawing more fan art today at work. Sorry, boss, man, woman, person. They are um, probably love your deviant art page anyway. Anyway, yeah. But so, but like, I totally, um, uh, I, I, um, I, I totally penciled and inked it with all kind of like you know, uh, uh, office supply materials, and then I colored it with, with highlighters. And that was actually kind of cool. I actually kind of want to cut a little highlighters more often because it's like really, it's like really kind of like pop art kind of feel. It's actually kind of interesting. Can you send that to me so we can put it in the video? Yeah, sure. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. I assume that was very good. I haven't seen it yet, but it's going to be right <laughs> there in the video, so I'm going to love it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I think we laid chapter two. It was good, nice to experiment with words and pictures and realize that humor is not necessarily something that comes easily to, to, to everyone. Um, right? It makes me really appreciate Chuck Kim and his awesome Dazzler line. They're, they're amazing. Everyone be friends with him on the No, I have, I have such a renewed um, appreciation for Family Circus. <laughs> right? Right? They say funny little kid lines every week. How do they think of it? How did I do it? Yeah. Or, or, like, or like XKCD, I'm like, I could do that. I'm like, no, I really couldn't. I really couldn't. <laughs> okay, okay, but from my like one summer of doing it, you just start thinking differently. You, yeah? Everything in the world becomes like, could that be a joke? And you instantly assess it, and you're like, yeah, I could make that into that joke, or that is couldn't be a joke at all. And it's just, yeah, it's just another way of, of seeing the world. So, okay. Uh, it's like talking shop, except the world talks shop to you. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, oh. I, let's keep going. Let's keep doing this. Let's add some more cameras. Bye, guys. Bye.